was born in Oceanside, California, uh, and spent my uh, early years uh, up through high school, actually to college, uh, living in Coronado, California. My father worked for the city there as a maintenance man. My father did not graduate from fifth grade. My mother did not graduate from third grade. But my mother instilled in me the importance of education which I took to heart, lucky enough to get accepted to Wake Forest. I graduated and then went to Washington Hospital Center. From there, I went in the Navy. I went to Hawaii and was assigned to a submarine. I met people from all over the United States that I would never get a chance to meet. And it was a wonderful experience educationally at UCLA. We were the first university that was actually teaching the residents to do intraocular lens implants. What nice thing about the eye is that uh, you can uh, do something and see the result of it and the patient can see the result of it. Almost always positive. I looked for a place to do oculoplastic surgery and there was not an oculoplastic surgeon in Nevada. I had an interest in aviation after I was in practice here. I was able to purchase airplanes and fly them and for many years, uh, flew down to Mexico with uh, two of the office staff and we would operate on eyes in Mexico. And I did that for a couple decades and then I got sick with uh, arthritis and uh, I was very ill, uh, in and out of a wheelchair for a while, had to sell my practice and decided, uh, you know, maybe I'd try law school. There's a field in law. Uh, uh, legal medicine, medical jurisprudence um, that intersects its, uh, the law applied to medicine. And I found that quite fascinating. I started in, in 2004 when the school was uh, just a lar large, mostly empty building. I met Dr. Foreman in 2004. It, we just clicked, we were the best of friends. He's been a role model to clinicians like myself, but he's also a role model to students, uh, medical students, PA students, nursing students, anybody who interacts with Don Havens realize what an important person he is to this community. Don Havens has certainly been an inspiration to me and has been an inspiration to everybody that is part of the Turo family. What his presence and involvement with Turo adds to the school is something that cannot be measured. He helps people see things. Helps people see things not just in their eyes and the health of their eyes, but in their vision of what is potentially possible that will do good in the world. My son uh, went to medical school and now he's a physician. I have a daughter who is a nurse. My other daughter is teaching English in Japan. He's a wonderful person. He's a wonderful father. He's very inspiring. He always stays very involved in the community and um, is always trying to um, become more knowledgeable. So I think that helps, at least rubs off on me as I try to keep up with him, which is, which is challenging. He has the biggest heart. He gives and he gives and he gives. He's just a wonderful gentleman that has always been giving. I've never seen a person that's more loyal and more generous, not to colleagues, not to staff alone, but to his patients as well. As I tell the students first day, that this is the best profession in the world. If they thought between law and medicine, they have made the right choice. It's the most gratifying profession that there is. There's nothing like being able to help people. It's such a privilege to be a physician.